Hello everybody, I am Ben from Team Panic and in my last video I talked about Bolt and also our plans for 2020 and 2021 which are to build a dual spinner multi-brain combat robot for BattleBots in 2021. Uh, so if you didn't see that video I will leave a link to that in the description down below. Go ahead and check that out. And in today's video, we're going to start work towards those plans, towards that glorious jewel spinner heavyweight. Uh, but how do we get there? Well, we have to go through a whole bunch of different stages, and the first of those stages is to build a melty brain beetle weight, just as a start. So we need to get to a melty brain beetle weight, but to get to there, I need to know what motors are going to work for the drive because obviously we need motors that are going to be fast enough and powerful enough to get the ring spinning or to get the whole robot spinning with the spinners on it uh, but also fast enough to get it up to a decent speed and to get to that level we then need to actually have an idea we need a test of motors so that's what we're doing today we're building an ugly overweight test platform uh, which I'm going to call Boris and we're going to use Boris to slap motors on the outside of and just stress test the motors to see if they're actually any good for doing the job that we want them to do. So Boris is going to be made out of solid steel or steel angle in this case rather than the lighter weight materials usually used in beetles which is plastics and aluminium. Um, yeah, so that should be enough stuff to get us going. So let's head up on to Sane, get some metal cut, get some stuff welded together and get Boris started. And there we go, it is all welded up. It's definitely not the best welding I've ever done in my life. It is uh, actually kind of snotty to be perfectly honest. It's been a while since I've done any welding and I think the welder was up a little bit too hot. So we're going to need to clean some of this stuff out of here and then we'll probably get it painted up. But just before that, I wanted to do a quick test on weight. Let's see how we go here. Uh, 1.7 kilos. Okay, so it's over the weight of a beta weight, but not quite two kilos, which is what I was aiming for, but that's okay. We can stack some stuff in the main chassis here uh, to up the weight. In fact, I've got some old weapon bars from old beta weights, which we might just stack in here uh, to do that. But like I said, next we need to clean this thing up and get it painted so that we can actually start using it. Oh, maybe not. My uh, grinder isn't quite small enough to get into these gaps and I only have a Dremel other than that. So while I've tried in some of these corners here, uh, yeah, this I really need to take back to Sane and get the die grinder into some of these areas. So we're just gonna use it 
as is, basically. I'm gonna try and uh, print some stuff up and get those on here to get some motors in. Yeah, there's not much else I can really do with this at this point in time, so I'll have to get painted at a later date, uh, but I will definitely keep going with this and keep using it after this video. So if you wanna see its uh, end product, you may have to follow me on Instagram. There's a link in the description uh, to see the end of this guy. Anyway, now we're gonna print up some plates uh, and test out both the brush motors I'm currently using in Annie and also some new motors that have come in just today. So we're gonna start with the brush drive system because I know these work and this will give us a good baseline for how any motor system is supposed to drive this thing around. I do have the new motors and wheels to go on those, uh, which will obviously need to be bolted down once everything is bolted on. But like I said, we're gonna do this guy as a test case first, see how all of this goes, gives us a baseline and then we can move on to the other wheels. Okay, so that worked, kinda. Um, I am going to chalk that up to a couple of different factors. I was using uh, these terrible, cheap Chinese ESCs that I have put through uh, a lot, and one of these seems a bit funky. Um, and then I'm also using brush DC motors that I've also put through a lot. So uh, yeah, even though that wasn't a perfect test, I did actually manage to move Boris around on these, so that's a good start anyway. Uh, so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna move over to the brushless drive system that I showed off before. Uh, get this guy going. And uh, yeah, hopefully this brushless drive system will still be able to push around Boris uh, and actually it might even do a better job than the DC drive that we just tried out. So those actually work quite well, which means Boris is teaching us stuff already. These 4108 brushless motors have no problem in YOLO drive mode at all. They were perfect on slow speed, perfect at spinning at slow speed, perfect at driving in slow speed. Uh, I do need to get my radio right because I had the channels backwards and there was a few other little bits and pieces that I could have improved on, but I didn't really care about driving it accurately. All I really cared about was making sure we could move this amount of weight with these brushless motors. And we can, in fact, I would say they are better than the standard 25 mil brushed motors. Now, I think they probably ought to be because I have a feeling that between 
the motors and the ESCs, this setup is actually heavier than the brushed motor with an ESC. But we're going to get insane levels of speed out of this, especially when we put it into a melty brain and spin it on the spot. So uh, yeah, these, these are an ideal candidate for our melty brain system. I don't actually have any of the other motors that I wanted to test out in this video yet. Obviously, uh, I'll get a lot of my parts from China and with coronavirus, a lot of things have kind of slowed down on the shipping front. So it could be a couple of weeks yet until I get other motors. So I wanna press on with my Melty design using these 4108s that I've now tested out with Boris uh, and worked out that these are actually capable of doing what they want them to do. They will also, like I said, spin the robot up really quickly when we get it into Melty mode. So double plus on that one. Uh, yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this one. Boris has been an interesting little beast to make. I still do need to clean it up and paint it and all that kind of stuff. But I'll do that before I do another video, which will be later in the year sometime, which will actually have a full test of a bunch of different brushless and brushed drive systems for beta weights. And we can do a bit of a comparison on power and weight and cost and all of those type of things. Uh, but that is something that we'll do in the future. So once again, hope you guys have enjoyed that one and I will see you in the next video.